Hello, students. Today we're going to talk about the devil. The devil's name is Gordon Ramsay. You know what's funny? I said I would never make another one of these vegan teacher videos again. What a liar I am, audience, because today we're going to be checking up on the good old Grinch again. Also, like this video for a piece of steak. Uh, I want to keep this meme alive. So before I decided to bring myself to actually make this video, I decided to ask my Discord, which you should definitely join, by the way. I asked them if it was even worth it to talk about that vegan teacher again, and more than 90% of you guys said yes. With the morgues drama kind of falling off and there not really being any other topics floating around at the moment, I decided screw it. It, we're gonna move we're, we're just gonna do it. I need views. Anyways, you heard me correct. You see the title. Gordon Ramsay just keeps trolling that vegan teacher, okay? Now I got this idea from Mr. Umpaville. He's a really swell guy, you know, he smells really great. But I'm gonna steal this idea from him because I'm a fully fledged commentary YouTube channel. So yeah, I guess since the last time I decided to give that vegan teacher some attention, she was still making the videos on other people trying to convince them to become vegan. And ladies and gentlemen, even with her not being in the spotlight at all anymore, she is still trying to convince everyone to become a vegan, and she's shaming everybody who isn't. Now, I'm just convinced that this lady just will not stop regardless of how much attention anybody gives her. I feel like she's dead set on the fact that she needs to make everybody a vegan. So yeah, uh, she made another video about Gordon Ramsay just here recently. Uh, I haven't even seen it yet, but Oompaville actually made me aware of this. He didn't tell me or anything. I just saw his video. And looking at the title right now, I'll just read it out for you. How Gordon Ramsay is like Hitler. <laughs> and how that makes me cry. Dude, you can't keep doing this. And yeah, without further ado, uh, like the video for no reason at all. Um, yeah, let's take a look at this. Hello, students. Today we're going to talk about the devil. The devil's name is Gordon Ramsay. I mean, hey, right off the bat, I'll just say right now that personally, I think Gordon Ramsay is an angel, okay? I have yet to see the day where I can pull up to one of his restaurants and just uh, let my taste buds indulge on his steak. Wait, that sounded <laughs> sus, okay. Indulge on his meals, okay? That, that's what I meant, dude. Yeah, no, I feel like obviously any animal rights activist would hate a world-class chef, mostly because of the fact that they're at the top of the ladder when it comes to the food industry and the meat industry, but to call him the devil? Just, it just doesn't seem too fitting, okay? I, I personally think that Mr. Gordon is a king. Honestly, kind of off topic, but imagine how much of a plot twist it would be if that vegan teacher is only a vegan just because she's never had good meat before. Like, she, she, her entire life, she's only been cooked raw meat. I mean, that vegan teacher, I would invite you over to my apartment. You know, I cook some of the best steaks uh, out of all of my friends. You know, I'm not the best, but I can cook you a good steak that you'd enjoy. A devil is defined as a creature, a being that does nothing but harm in the world. Yeah, that vegan teacher, I'm not sure where you really got that definition. You know, I'm looking up devil right now, and it, there's there's four definitions for it. Two for noun, two for verb. First, the chief evil spirit, Satan. Two, a person with specified characteristics. And for the verbs, act as a junior assistant for a lawyer or other... Yeah, that's definitely not it. And two, to harass or worry somebody. So, that vegan teacher, I hate to admit it, but uh, your definition is a little bit flawed. You know, I'm not really too sure where you got that uh, definition. Maybe you were using it to to help push your narrative on Gordon Ramsay, you know, my man. But it didn't seem like it worked out too well because, you know, obviously I, I like to check the validity of these statements. And what you're saying right now isn't really all that true. Now you might look at him, Gordon Ramsay, and say to yourself, well, he seems like a nice guy. Okay, Gordon may be a dope-ass dude, but he is definitely not a nice guy at all, okay? If you know who Gordon Ramsay is, he makes some of the best insults that I think I've ever heard in my life. Obviously, you know, my guy started Hell's Kitchen, so, you know, he's obviously going to be throwing around insults quite a bit. I don't know, I just wouldn't say he's a really nice guy, but, I mean, he is a god, okay? My man's Gordon Ramsay is quite the prophet. He's able to crack some jokes. His family look healthy and happy. They're always seen joking around and there's always happy music. But look a little bit deeper. What's really going on? When you have a lot of money, you can pay people to film you in whatever light that you want. You can put cameras in the right places and you can insert music and make your life seem like one giant trip to Disneyland. Okay, I'm not really too sure what she's uh, on about here because this type of description definitely doesn't match any of Gordon Ramsay's TV series that he has. I mean, Hell's Kitchen quite literally consists of him yelling at a bunch of chefs for hours on end, insulting them for hours on end, like, which doesn't really sound like a trip to Disneyland if you're asking me. I mean, I don't know if I'd enjoy that all that much. I'm not sure 
sure why she's trying to paint him as some sort of imposter syndrome victim acting like he's a light-hearted person on TV but acts different in person. Like, just, that's just not the case. I mean, from what it seems like, Gordon Ramsay seems pretty real on TV and pretty real in person. Well, I haven't met him in person, but I've seen, like, you know, interviews with him included in them. So, I'm not really too sure where she's taking this from. He's achieved this, but it doesn't make him a good person. All of the money that he has made is on the backs of innocent animals who have been murdered because of him, who never wanted to die, who died begging for their lives. Now, people don't think of chickens, pigs, cows, and lambs that often because we've been so indoctrinated in our society to think of them as objects. Or maybe you just haven't considered the fact that uh, animals aren't really people, you know, uh, maybe maybe you should consider that before you start saying that Gordon Ramsay is like Hitler, dude. Like, you're comparing apples to oranges here, lady. Like, you have no idea what you're talking about. The fact that she uses Hitler as a way to describe a lot of what's going on right now is just disgusting, dude. Like, she completely just disrespecting the Holocaust, bro, like... But they're not objects, and they should not be eaten. Science has proven to us that we don't need to eat animals to survive. Well, I mean, science also says that you don't need to eat plants to survive, so, like... And given that fact, and given the fact that he is able to work in the kitchen, there's no excuse for him to keep paying for the murder of these animals. Why would he do it? I ask myself that. Why would he keep doing it? The fact that this lady has no idea how a world-class restaurant is run is just, it's its numbing my brain, okay? I feel like I'm losing brain cells at the moment. That vegan teacher, to simply answer your question, he is doing it for money, okay? Like other world-class chef restaurant owners. Like, this is how it goes. I don't see the point in trying to fight for animals when this is how the life has been for like forever, literally forever. We used to use spears to hunt animals, back when we were all like cavemen, bro. Like, <laughs> does she not understand that? Well, there are a few reasons. One is that maybe he's not such a good chef after all. Maybe he really doesn't know how to cook delicious vegetables and fruits and make them into these amazing meals. Hey, I got a little bit of a, of a plot twist for you, that vegan teacher, okay? Gordon Ramsay has vegan recipes and vegan dishes at his restaurants, bro. Like, dude, she could not have played herself more by saying that, dude. Like, it, it's almost like that vegan teacher is trying to make herself look stupid, dude. Like, I even pranked her with the like for, for steak a few months ago, and now... <laughs> Dude, I don't know. I think that's where I'm gonna cut the video though just because I don't want to watch any more of this I literally did this for views. So yeah with that being said if you did enjoy this video Make sure to leave a like and if you want to see more content like this in the future Feel free to hit that subscribe button. I'm not here to force you though I'm not gonna be that guy and yeah with that all being said I hope you all have an amazing rest of your day Make sure you guys are staying safe staying healthy and all that good stuff and I will catch you boys tomorrow. Peace <laughs>